Hey guys, so now we will talk about the box number 7 and box number 8. So be sure to use this comment in the screen because it will help you to know about the detail of the hero that the boss will use and also the level of them for example or the uh, how the map looks like. So now let's get into the skill of this boss. So the first skill is attack deal 15 to a random enemy for each nature of lie. Okay, so each six second skill each second turn give block 15 to nature ally okay and third skill each fifth turn summon group to the first row so this skill will summon four group to the first row to silent everything you have so all in all based on the three skill i could say that this boss will not be uh, focusing on killing you but we will struggle to win because of the silent and the block skill that will give the protection to their squad. So some of the uh, suggested solution that I can think of is that for the first one will be vampire reason like the red woman Dominus Villard so that you can attack the enemy and deal damage to the enemy Willard because based on the first skill as you can see if uh, we attack the uh, Willard it will deal 15 damage to random enemy for each nature ally so you should kill them, kill the enemy with vampirism and then deal damage to the waller. The second one you can go with is the uh, indirect damage from the ghost staff, from afro, from building, or from tinkers. So tinkers and ghost staff, I think, will be pretty good with this boss because of how indirect damage they deal. And for tinker, he deal extra damage to the nature. So it's a pretty good one to counter this boss. And the last uh, one I would uh, say of is the immunity to silence or like Shaolin or the immunity hero so that they cannot be silenced. But other than that, this boss will just be annoying. It will probably take a few turns to get through it, but other than that, nothing too, uh, too special about the boss. Let's look at the next boss. So here we have, I think this one will be the more difficult one based on the skill. So the first skill is a light attack, give him or her 15. Health. Second skill, second skill, each second turn he'll ally to full and third skill, each fifth turn deal damage to enemy equal to health of a random ally. So mostly it's based on um, health and health stuff. So something you can, um, Keep in mind is that using hero with effect damage or area damage. Let's say area for his bleeding, um, poison flaws or other poisoner to poison them, and then you also deal damage to them so that you can prevent them healing. And also, last but not least, is splash damage you can deal to them. I think um, streak um, and TNT will be a good counter to this boss. Also, summoner that deal you know. The rune and stop them attacking but other than that uh, all of the above mentioned um, solution I did believe are the optimal one you should always try to kill them as fast as possible because they have the uh, the art which is a pretty good legendary in this boss so that is the end of the review and counters for the boss number seven and boss number eight if you have any more questions, please leave down in the sec comment section and I will try to answer. And see you guys next video.